My name is William Harvey Ziegler, better known as Harvey Ziegler. Father God, we are just thankful for even this day that you have given us to come together to celebrate the life of William Harvey Ziegler. The man was 102 years old when he went on to glory and still had a thick head of hair. Yeah. So let all the follically challenged people say, amen. amen. So one day I'm in the doctor's office right here and the nurse is taking my vitals and she's looking out the window while she's taking my pulse and she said, look at there, there go Mr. Harvey Ziegler doing his daily walk. I said, Harvey Ziegler, I said, that's my uncle. She goes, his vitals better than yours. Well, I was truly honored to go to the funeral for uh, Mr. Harvey Ziegler. The room had so many people in there who were, in the, uh, who were family members and community members and people from, from the Damascus area and the up county, uh, Montgomery County area and well beyond. He's, he's living history, born in 1920. Uh, the changes that he lived through in this county, a time for decades where the county was extremely hostile to the African American community. But still had a positive spirit and a kind heart. He loved everyone he met. Mr. Harvey has taken down a few giants over his lifetime. They had the uh, Department of Energy, and they didn't have no colored African Americans in none of the shops. So I just made a complaint with the, the EEO, Eagle Employment Opportunity, and eventually they said, well, that was wrong, we're going to correct it. So by me speaking up, not only did I get promoted, a lot of other employees got promoted. And understanding this was a fight, and understanding the things that Harvey fought for and worked for were not given, they were won. If you didn't look up for yourselves, well, by being an ethnic group, you know, you wouldn't get anything done, so we had to bind together, teamwork and harmony and faith. That's the only thing that kept us going. Mr. Harvey would literally wear people down, and if that failed, he was willing to simply outlive them. Uh, from his early work as a civil rights activist, uh, as a supporter of every social movement we've had here, but a ardent, ardent uh, supporter of this county. See, Mr. Harvey knew it was not always about how well you could fight. But are you willing to take a beating for a greater purpose? And in his very own words, he would say how he was willing to get his butt kicked and still come back for more. When someone, especially in the up county area, would, would run into a, a situation, they would go see Mr. Harvey and, and he would he would help them and figure out how to how to calm things down. When we were just last year in the throes of the pandemic, stepped up at over 100 years old to be one of the first to get a vaccine in our Eastern County Clinic. Look, look at these guns, man. <laughs> and worked with us to try to get at the hesitancy and some of the issues for access to vaccines that we've seen in the African American community. He was underestimated, overcame the odds, and was not afraid to fight, which was why he was unafraid to tell the powers that be that if he had a problem with them, he was going to come down the pike on them. Rona Kramer, who was once our senator for Damascus, and now she is the secretary of the Maryland Department of Aging. Her notification reads as this. I want you all to know that many of us are committed to carry on Harvey's work to better the lives of those around us and to be kind to someone this day. That was Harvey's vision. That was Harvey's dream. And it's up to each of us to make sure that we continue that legacy for him. Now, oftentimes the public officials like to take the attention. But looking at our community, and Montgomery County comparatively is one of the best places in America to live. But didn't happen because of the elected officials in Rockville, or those in Annapolis, or those in Washington. 
It happened because of people like Harvey. If you spoke to Mr. Harvey long enough, there was always a challenge for you to do more because he would often say, now I'm too old and can't do it no more. So you young people need to step up. Perhaps we can follow Mr. Harvey's example that if I can just help somebody. If Mr. Harvey could help somebody. As I travel along. As I travel on. If I can help somebody in a word or song. With a song. If I can help somebody from doing wrong. He's traveling wrong. My living, his living shall not be in vain. Right. Has not, it's not in vain. Amen. Amen.